Oops. I probably should have looked at what was going on there first. Your mission today is to suppress a riot in Hodlum, a slum in Centralfield. The doctrine of democracy, invented on the continent, has begun to take root among the commoners. The reason for the sudden spread of democracy in the slums is this due to refugees from Southfield taking up residence there? Yes, the people's growing discontent is manifesting itself as violent riots and looting. You must urgently restore the peace. Bear in mind, however, that the rioters are not soldiers. They are civilians, unaccustomed to fighting. It is vital that casualties are kept to a minimum. Understood. Why should rioters receive special treatment? An enemy is an enemy. I, for one, shan't be going easy on them. Through our recent excursions, the Blue Foxes have built up a formidable reputation in Central Field. It is likely that some rioters will immediately surrender their arms upon your arrival. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. I don't make concessions in battle. They may be vulnerable, people coerced into participating. So you will have to on this occasion, Walter Quinn. It's their own fault for being completely powerless and spineless. Why should I feel any pity? What's wrong with you? As mercenaries, our livelihood is in violence. Sometimes we must take lives, but Duke Hende ordered for no unnecessary deaths. We must uphold that. Let us depart. Hmm. I want to. I want to continue talking this out. I, you know, it feels like it's a little important. Uh, hash that out. I want any surprises. No one told me we'd have to fight the Blue Foxes. I'm out. There's no way we can beat them. You think this is a game you can quit anytime? You want to die a dog's death in poverty instead? But what chance do we stand against them? They're disorganized. Without a strong leader, they can't fight as a unit. That alone should teach them that democracy is an unrealistic ideal. Is it? Under the right guidance, I think it could make the world a better place. Guidance? Iska. The only guidance commoners need is from their king. This isn't a political movement. It's a pretext for outlaws to stir up trouble. Come on, Fred. People are risking their lives to express their opposition to the royal government. Have you not thought about why that might be? Mm. All they want is a normal life for their family and friends. Their methods might be wrong, but I wouldn't dismiss their plight because of that. What a reasonable person you are, Iskarian. We must seize control of this place and ensure our defenses remain unbroken. Stay focused. The enemy is right in front of us. Aye, aye. I'm well aware. I'll say this but once more. Please do not be reckless, Walter Quinn. Me? Reckless? Perish the thought. Uh, all right. Don't let the barricade fall. Finish in six minutes. Find the treasure chest. Jesus, the treasure chest is way over there. Are these guys coming at me? Yep. All right. Let's get going. You go there. Uh, they're kind of slow, so we might be able to pull this yes, off. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Got it. Yeah. 
Here goes. Target eliminated. Right away. Next time. Uh, you're gonna Let's get, get hit going. by something. Oh, maybe this could come in handy. You to work your way back now, please. Shall I go that way then? On my way. All right. One down. Go. No, way. you sucker fool. Here, a bit of healing for you. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Don't Shall I go that way then? In fact, you can start walking Got later it. too. Fun. Go. Here, a bit of healing for you. Let's get going. On my way. Here goes. Miss that one guy? Shall I go that way then? Got it. Let's get going. Yes, yes. Let us be off. You're a regular heel. This isn't really my style. Shall I go that way then? Here goes. Next time. Let's have you do the heal. You can thank me later. Try to spread out this uh, On my way. cost. Next time. I understand. It's the bloody blue foxes. We're dead if we don't take them out. There's nothing more terrifying than a man with nothing to lose. And a whole mob of such men is even worse. It won't be easy trying to quell them. To quell them we will. Calmly and carefully. Those guys are running quickly. Got it. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Be gone with you. Next target. Be gone with you. Target eliminated. Go. I'll go that way. Yes, yes. Let's, Let's get be going. Off. I understand. It'll work like that. You got it. You start making your way over there. Matter of fact, you're That's fine. Next ah! time. On my way. Good. Let's get a regular this isn't heal really going. my style. Go. Let's get going. Get Shall I go that way then? Here. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Shall I go that way then? This thing is one of them. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Shall I go that way then? Still missing one of them. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Shall I go that way then? Here we go. Let's try this. Uh oh. Go. This is not ideal. That was an enormous mistake. Isn't really my style. Target eliminated. I understand. 
Yes, yes. Let us be off. You can thank me later. Let's get going. I understand. Here goes. Target eliminated. Defeated. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Next target. Got it. Who's next? Got it. They're even bringing out the Cavaliers. What a warm welcome this is. What are riders? How... How, uh, how do you... Where do cavaliers come from in a riot? This looks like fun. Maybe it's time for me to show what I can really do. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't take orders from you. Walter Quinn, Iscarion, stay focused. The enemy's approaching. We're gonna get there first. Those guys are gonna take some time. This is probably the last push by the enemy. Not what I wanted to do. This isn't really my style. You can thank me later. Defeated. Got it. Another one. How infuriating. Wasn't there voice acting for everything else? Uh, I'm not having any fun at all. Why do we have to bother with these weaklings? <sighs> They're pathetic. Let us be off. 
Let's get going. Shall I go that way then? Got it. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Shall I go that way then? Got it. Yes, yes. Let us be off. On my way. Shall I go that way then? Let's get going. You handle that. You handle that. This isn't really my style. Got it. We move out of that. On with you. Next target. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Shall I go that way? Target eliminated. That's perfect. Let's try this. Let's get going. This isn't really my style. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Got it. Maneuver that a little bit better. Shall I go that way then? My style. Shall I go that way then? Gotta do that. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Go. You just go after that guy for right now. Let's try this. Shall I go that up. way then? Right away. Then we can Bahamut. Be gone with you. Ah! On my way. One more Bahamut. Be gone with you. Calmly, we just gonna ignore the six men we murdered already, Iska? He's uh Got it. He's trying to be a nice guy. Yes, yes. Let us be off. Got As it. we all know, not everybody can be a nice guy. Here goes. I understand. Shall I go that way then? Yes, yes. Let us be off. One right. down. Alright. That one was absolutely stretching my uh my capabilities in trying to get everything to work the way it was because i'm being attacked from three different directions from enemies that move at different speeds <laughs> i grow ever more powerful wow somehow okay never mind i i'm used to um uh, my assassin guy being first and Saul's like, how did Walter Quinn eclipse him in experience? It doesn't make any sense. That's not what happened. Oh! Have you lost your mind? Oh dear. They must be even weaker than I thought. Are we gonna have to fight Walter Quinn? Walter Quinn, our orders! That's the last one, I promise. Last one? How many have you killed? Maybe ten? Ten? These are ordinary people, fooled into disorder by the hollow promise of a better life. I mean, 
they chose to fight, you know, means they also chose to die. They may have broken the law, but they certainly don't deserve death. Look, we stopped the riot, didn't we? What's the problem? The problem is that the Blue Foxes have slaughtered defenseless civilians. That's what people will be saying about us now. We've lost the good reputation we worked so hard to earn. But a bad reputation has its advantages too, no? You did this on purpose. Just to make life difficult. Let's pick this up later, Fred. We have to go. Ugh. Pick this up later. We'll never talk about it ever again. Over six months have passed since the Trovelchovian Empire captured Tagaria Naval Base. Several attempts were made to retake the base during this period, but Commander Osmaldo Selica's garrison has proved impossible to displace. Osmaldo's forces are clearly superior, yet he has made no attempt to push on beyond Tagaria. A state of affairs that left the royal government perplexed as to his motives. In the meantime, the Blue Foxes have been put to work suppressing riots in the slums of Central Field. While doing so, Walter Quinn shocks her comrades by ignoring orders and deploying lethal force. On the one hand, Walter Quinn's violent conduct achieves the desired result. The terrified rioters promptly surrender. On the other hand, it severely tarnishes the Blue Fox's reputation, rightly or wrongly mocking them as ruthless killers. As a result, their patron, Duke Hende has also become a target for criticism from other members of the Lord's Council. Though this did little to discourage him from continuing to strengthen his grip over Southfield. Before the month was up, the Duke had become the de facto ruler of the entire region. Lorraine, we require an urgent update regarding the situation at Tagaria. Of course. But may I ask why? Because I'm the leader of the Blue Foxes, and I'm asking you for an update. We're going to retake it. What? what D Duke Hende hasn't mentioned any such plans. He's preoccupied with Southfield at the moment. A preoccupation that is causing his position on the council to grow weaker by the day. It's not a problem for us yet, but it will make life difficult in the long term. However, if we liberate the base... Well, then the Duke's detractors would have to stop their carping about his involvement in Southfield. And have you thought of a strategy? The Royal Army appears to be at a loss thus far. I have a strategy, and I'm confident that we will succeed. Hmm, very well. Maybe his motives are simply stay the heck out of my land? I don't think mm -hmm. it's that. I... So... I think it's one of those things where... Like, you, d you don't have to press, press far into the land and, like, splinter your forces and things like that. That's exactly what got the that naval base taken in the first place. So why not just chill there, you know, have it be uh, a place of operations where you can um, filter out information and you know so dissent in the rest of the lands which it appears they're doing because they're working with multiple people like they just need to be a distraction there while also being 
a base of operations that the rest of the empire can um, uh, go to at any time they want to, you know, uh, reinforce the base, do all that other stuff. I, I will, um, I imagine that if the blue foxes weren't going to uh, take the fort back, or even when we go to take the fort back, we're going to notice that they're already pulling back anyways, and they're going to attack a different place in, in the region. That's my, uh, my prediction. Uh, hey, Noah the Otter. Thank you very much for the 29 months. Here's to nearly 30 months with the greatest acronyms on the face of the earth. Modern company logos. I ain't got nothing on Axelrod. <laughs> she works for the Duke first and foremost. Sure, but, you know, if, if we want an update on the status of a fortress, that... That doesn't undermine the Duke at all. You know, just like, hey, curious what's going on in the war. Give us an update. Uh, Umarida, Umarida, uh, you came. Thank you. Yes, Andreas. Thank you for inviting me to join the Blue Foxes. This is the crossbow chick, or maybe... It's either the... Yeah, this is the crossbow chick. How about this? I'll introduce you to the others right away, if you have no objections. Why, yes. None. Anyway. These are people you will be relying on in battle. Try not to make a bad first impression. Understood. Of course. Uh, how am I? I'm doing good. Glad you can stop in again, now that I've beaten Rebirth. I, I originally read that as you had beaten Rebirth, and I was like, wow, I think you've beaten it faster than I did. But, uh, you know. Then I read it out loud, and I understood exactly what was going on. Alright, Donava Shavat. Uh, she... It said she joined, but it doesn't look like she's joined. So she's going to be one of those. What if we go and retake a fort without involving the Duke? Isn't that undermining him? Well... Uh, so we we have done things uh, against or without the Duke's permission already. Uh, I think our first assault on the uh, the naval base involved doing something that the Duke never told us to do. I think even going as far as disobeying orders, in fact, I think our orders were to stand by or like be on standby and we went and attacked the fort anyways, which um, was super suspicious to me, which is why I think Hende is not like he he's plotting something. He's not necessarily a good guy. Um... And, like, another one of those reasons why I think Andreas is trying to kill Hende. But as the game goes on, it's starting to seem less and less like Andreas wants to kill Hende. But uh, we'll, we'll see. I've got quite a tale for you, Andreas. Have you now? I'd been hoping to speak to you too, as it happens. Who were those men who visited you earlier? They work for nobles who recently moved from Southfield to Centralfield. It seems they've made quite the fortune from some sordid dealings and are in need of bodyguards. It was a request for the Blue Foxes? No. They wanted me to abandon the unit and take some able hands with me. So I put your name forward as well. If you leave, 
I shall follow. I have no intention of leaving. They say they'll pay double. It could be quadruple and it would make no difference. Very well. I know a man who can't be convinced when I see one. I have no interest, but if you want to leave, I shan't stop you. No, I'm staying. I'm not about to leave just because you've told me I can. I'll do what you will. I've not the attachment to you that you may think I do. That much is plain, but you'll come around eventually. Uh, you're still getting there, but you love Rebirth, great combat, great abilities, reminds you why you loved remakes so much. Very good sequel so far. As you wanting to do more Final Fantasy on stream. Uh, you own Final Fantasy X and XII on PlayStation 2 and love to do those at some point. Nice, nice. Uh, especially now that you understand the material systems and leveling more, since you do this as a job now. Then you're kicking booty at it, too. Need to start Rebirth yet? Uh, you need to start Rebirth yet, but you also want to play Dragon's Dogma before Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. Hmm. Are you going to be able to pull that off? Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out pretty soon, doesn't it? You gonna be able to pull that off? Shut up, Andreas. You've got some murder skills, kind of carry us. Shivat, Shivat's a healer. Uh, the only thing I've been using him for is healing. He, uh, plus Shivat, he's he is suspicious. Like, if you think that what Walter Quinn is doing is crazy and insane, the circumstances of how Shivat joins our group is 10 times more insane than that. I don't trust him. Andreas, I have a question for you. What is it, Tanaba? How do you go about selecting members for the Blue Foxes? The unit contains knights, mercenaries, foreign soldiers, thieves, but capable warriors, one and all. Hold on a second. Who are you calling a thief? Who's the, who's a thief in our party? I find people with talent. That's all. Indeed. I doubt I have ever seen such a force. Not even in my time in King Regalt's guards. You defended King Regalt? Yes. Our ranks were full of honorable knights. But over time, their dedication waned. They began to act for their own profit, thinking only of ways to best their competition. You left out of disgust for what they had become. I did. And now I pray that the blue foxes do not fall prey to the same ailment. We shall not. You seem very certain of that. I have not a single doubt. No one in this game is a good person, that's all you'll say. I I've I've already come to the conclusion that every character that's joined this party has uh has some sort of motives. Uh I I don't know if the good person thing I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I don't know if the good person thing is something that I I view for certain characters, like Frederick, for example. Speaking of, um, I feel like Frederick is like a good, like he's he's the the Dungeon Dragons Paladin type person, you know, like for the people right now uh let's see Isolaire, very naive normal uh person i feel like she's totally uh on the good side uh uh and back another another one uh estalt probably as well Honestly, like of of all the people 
that I feel have ulterior motives and are probably um, not who they seem. I think Iskarian uh, has hints of that. Uh, Castavir, obviously, he's from another freaking nation. And Andreas is like top of the list. He he has to be playing 5D chess. It it the, the game is is really making me believe that he's doing that. Walter Quinn, she's number two, just because she's kind of crazy. Uh, Shavat, we just I just went over him. He's he's doing crazy things. Um, Donovar, I, I don't really know. I, I I feel like this guy is also probably not not uh, really it's not really capable of plotting anything. So I don't have any suspicions of him. Maybe maybe Shavat should be number two and Walter Gwynn number three. I don't know. That's where I'm at. Hmm. Who's this, Rias? You, Marita Barrias, a bounty huntress. She had been set to join the army as a private, but I offered her a place with us instead. She seems capable. Oh. I'd say you were. Wouldn't you, you Marida? Yes. What about her background? She used to serve a noble house in Southfield. They were traders. They lost their estate. And you Marida decided that the Royal Army was her only option. I see. Well, good work, Rias. I never knew you had such an eye for talent. Hey. What do you mean? Javad is definitely number five. I, I... I don't see how that's possible. A mercenary whose untalkative nature shrouds her in mystery. Under her cold visage lies a fierce resolve. Skilled with firearms, she specializes in picking off lone uh, enemies. And then? It's behind the sudden increase in numbers. Indeed. All will be made clear in the briefing. We have an important task ahead of us. Well, well, well. Interesting. Then I look forward to talking strategy. I might try using her is the issue here. And let me say, that is a big issue. Oh, okay, we've already been fighting railgun enemies. Deal damage to enemies in the target area, then move behind them. And move behind them the closer the enemy is to the unit. This is very difficult to read and very difficult to understand, and the visuals are not making it easier. The closer an enemy is to the unit, the greater the damage inflicted. Deal damage to enemies in the target area, then move behind them. The thing is, is you're not moving behind them in this, this video. But you are moving back. You know. Probably not going to use her. But let me, let me see what else. What else we can uh, get for those people. Railgun, shell shot, chain shots. That looks interesting. Send a rickish, uh, shot ricocheting from one enemy to another in the target area inflicting weakness. Chaos cluster. Headshot.
with a crossbow. That's that's so silly. Critical hits double the damage. Huh. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not crazy about the archers in this game. I'm not crazy about them, as evident by me having no progress in this tree. Uh, I, I think I'll try her out on a different mission, maybe. But probably not a story mission. Some reason a crossbow is a firearm. Uh, you always feel like good person can be subjective sometimes too, or sort of a loose term. You tend not to say it much when describing characters, but you're weird. Uh, like a character like Wolverine, for instance, could be described as a good person by some, but others may not, or may not, because he has killed plenty of people, heroes and villains alike. Uh, so you're careful how you use that term. You guess it is hard for you to describe. Apologies, doesn't make sense. I, so, I think in those scenarios, people are confusing someone who does good acts with good person. And, you know, I, I'm sure we can all agree that those are drastically different things. You can be evil, you can still do good things. Or maybe a character like Django Fett, depending on who you ask. Uh, he could be seen as a good person too, at least from the viewpoint of being a father figure to Boba Fett. I, uh, I, I don't think being a father makes you a good person. I, I don't even think it's a good act. Like, I, in many ways, I think that doing what you're supposed to be doing is, is like a neutral act. I forgot to mark. But, you know, that, it's just me. When we reach the game's end, you want me to remember this moment? I will try to remember that moment. I imagine we're not too far off. Uh, this game is supposed to be 20-ish hours. And uh, by the end of today, we'll be 12. So theoretically, I could beat this game on Friday. Maybe more closer to... Monday or Tuesday of next week, so probably won't be that, that far away. <laughs>